Oh. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm here with the one and only D Savage, Grown Boy Trap. Yeah. Everybody got masks on. I'm not even going to say who the dude all the way over here is. I don't know if he wants to be revealed yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out who this is. Jay. Yeah, what up, Jay? He's a pissed off boy, Jay. Oh, did he really just pee? Yeah. I swear he just pissed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told you that shit was going to happen. Oh. He's just pissed off. A quick bitch. break. A quick break. That really is yeah. urine. Holy Blood, shit. All right, guys. So today's podcast is brought to you by a repeat advertiser of ours, and that is Tracker. If you want to check out Tracker, it's T H E T R A C K R dot com. That's the tracker dot com minus the E. Basically, it's a tiny little aluminum disc that you can put in your wallet. You can attach it to your keys on your keychain. You could even attach it to your phone and then you hook it up with Bluetooth to your phone. And if you ever lose your keys, your your phone, anything like that. And I'm not saying that you guys necessarily might be the types would lose your phone because maybe you've had a few too many drinks or something like that but it's definitely a good way to make sure that you can stay on top of all your possessions it's super super easy and if you want to get one it's super cheap and easy too all you have to do is head on over to t-h-e-t-r-a-c-k-r dot com and enter the promo code no jumper to get 20 percent off your order so by messing with us by supporting tracker you're supporting the Rope Gang. You're supporting this podcast. And we'll get more ads from them. And everybody will be happy. So head on over to the tracker minus the e.com and get yourself one. Let's go. We're back. That was pretty fucking ridiculous. I, I'm pretty astonished that that just happened. Yeah, that was fucking crazy. Bro. Whose dog was that anyway? My dog, Dollar's. Dollar dog. Damn, insane. Anyway, this has been an interview that, you know, people have wanted this shit for a long time. I remember, like, you know, grown boy over here we're we're new friends I'm, I'm newly familiar with you but with savage it's like since day one of the the no jumper podcast he's always been a dude that everybody was just asking they all wanted to know about you yeah but uh yeah i just moved in silence yeah that was the plan yeah. I, I mean you had quite a career up to this point like so many different like different things going on like there's just yeah. been so much madness aside from the music facts facts too much so I guess we're going to start off with you. Let, let's talk about where you're from first. Gardenia, right? Yeah, Gardena. Gardena is how I'm supposed to say it? Yeah, I'm from Gardena. That's where by, uh, kind of like by Compton, mm -hmm. like South Central area. So shit. Right. So what was your upbringing like there for the record? Uh, uh, well, I was I was born in Queens. I'm from East Elmhurst. Up to what, what age? I was like, I was a little kid when I moved. I don't even remember. I was a little ass kid when I moved to L.A. Okay. And then I moved, I was kind of like by the um, 60s. Mm -hmm. Like like the area, little, like the street. I was like, like, that's where I first moved to. And then I moved to Gardena with my mama. I've been living there for like the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. I live in Brooklyn now. I just got a, a penthouse in Brooklyn. So you decided to move back to Brooklyn? Yeah. What made you want to do that? Um, shit, just more. It's New York is like more like, like you feel more work enthused. Like you feel it in the air. Right. Just to keep grinding. Like, Especially being, like, basically from here, like, spending so much exactly, time in L.A. Exactly, yeah. Like, I'm, like, yeah, don't get it wrong. I'm, I'm born in Queens, New York, but I'm really from L.A. You know what I mean? I'm like, you, hear my, you hear my voice, you're probably going to be like, oh, you got, like, an L.A. accent. You know what I mean? I'm from L.A., so for me to be living in New York, it's like a, that's like another constant reminder of, mm -hmm. like, nigga, keep grinding because you ain't got shit out here. So shit. And don't get me wrong. I got, my, I got a brother and I got a sister that live in New York. Shout out Donnell and shout out Brittany. Shout out Top. Yeah. But for me, I'm out there by myself, so it's kind of it's kind of more of like a reason to just keep going. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I mean, as much as we all can agree that LA is one of the greatest places ever, it's like it has become kind of fucking crazy with just how many people move here, just yeah. how much hype beast in there is going on here. A whole lot of faggotry. Yeah, I could say that. Um, okay, so you know, you're growing up out there. Well, tell me about your upbringing. You grew up in the projects or a nice uh, house? What? My my family in New York still lives in the projects, mm -hmm. but um, when I moved to LA, it's not the, it's not like the projects projects that you would probably think about. But I mean, I, me and my mom is still live there to this day. It's like a little condominium, little shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's it's cool. So, at what point, like, what what's your childhood like though? You getting a lot of trouble? You have a pretty regular childhood. Um, I've never been like expelled or suspended, but I mean. Every every person every person that did some shit. I mean, I'm not I'm not like the worst fucking kid, but I'm not the best. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But and I got in a lot of trouble growing up. But the only trouble really that like 
came from it was really like uh, it, like me it wasn't nothing too serious like me going to jail or like nothing like that like i'm like f- might be fighting at school or like mm-hmm. i remember once like i got in trouble at school because like two mexican kids called me a nigga <laughs> like a nigger so what'd you do I, I fought both of them. Like, I, I remember, like I remember, like I made both of them cry or whatever. But I didn't get suspended, suspended or expelled. I'm not trying to sound tough or anything. Mm-hmm. Too. That was just an example. Like I don't really get in trouble for shit. I mean, that's just regular shit that happens growing up in LA. I think. Yeah, like I would get in trouble for like ditching school before I get in trouble at school. Right. You know what I mean. So you're interested in rap music this whole time. Did you have any idea that you might start rapping one day? Fuck no. Fuck no. I still don't even think, like, this is what I still want, would want to do for the rest of my life. Don't get me wrong, this shit is fun as fuck. And, like, if you feel like, I feel like I'm all right, you know what I mean? So if I'm, if I'm, if I feel as though I'm okay making music and, and I got a whole fan following behind me, I've got to just keep going harder and then eventually I might, I might flip it over. I might mm-hmm. say, okay, I got this whole cult fan base. Okay, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm rapping right now. To, tomorrow, next year I'm going to start acting. Mm-hmm. Now who are all gonna fuck with me on my acting shit? You know what I mean? Right. Just at least have a have a cult. I mean, you always been around all these dudes who are doing fashion type shit too, and exactly, that's that's exactly. another like obvious way that you could sort of transition from the rap shit, right? Exactly, exactly. Because I love clothes as well, so that could be another little outlet. Right. You already know. So what was going on in your life before you recorded your first song, which went on to become a huge hit? And what was that actually your first song? Thirty Round Clip. Yeah. That was my first song ever recorded. Like, so, ever. so why'd you even make a song in the first place? What did you want to do with yourself? I didn't want to do shit, bro. Like I, like I would, I was a normal nigga, like ditching school, like smoking weed, like a normal little kid, I guess. Like, and then this nigga was making songs. Weed right here. This nigga was making songs <laughs> like for the fun type shit when he was like. 11, 12 type shit. And I've been known, I've been known him almost like his whole life type Yeah, I was going to say, how did you guys start hanging out? Oh, dude, we, we used to, we used to be friends with our, like the whole OF, our future gang oh. type shit. So that's, that's when we was really like clicking together type shit as best friends, but. Okay. And so at that point though, like, so Odd Future, when that was coming about, were you just like a kid who was around LA sort of hanging around and stuff exactly, like that? Exactly, okay. exactly, exactly. I was at Fairfax, on Fairfax, the block and all that shit. What year are we talking, like 2012, 13? Exactly. When that shit was really, really crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And probably like a year or two before that, but yeah. That's what's funny when like new kids say shit about Melrose and all the hypebeast type shit. Right <laughs> now, I'm like, bro, but I know that there's this whole era, and even that's like five years ago. Like, I, I talked to people like Brooklyn Dom had a store here for 20 plus years with Brooklyn Projects. Like, he's seen every different wave going down here, but Odd Future is like the the craziest wave that we've seen in this this Hell area. Yeah. Hell yeah. They're also the most fire in the way I feel like that's. I don't know, bro. I just, I fuck with our future. What was, like, the change that you sort of saw them as a group kind of having on the people, though? Like, did that change the way that the youth in L.A. were, were acting? So, wait, say that one more time? Like, when Odd Future came out, I just feel like there's sort of, like, a cultural shift where a lot of kids who might have been considered weird oh, beforehand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I feel as though that came because it was just a whole, uh, a lot of kids could relate to them. Mm. or to Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of kids could relate, so... They like for me. They really had no choice but to but to be boosted up to the next level when it comes to like being considered a, a fire ass rapper or whatever the case or a rap group, whatever the case may be. Because they really had a they really had the youth on lock. You know what I mean? So shit, for it's like yeah. But so at first you weren't thinking about like actually making music yourself. You were nah, just kind of no. yeah. Nah, I, I started off making beats. I know how to make beats. I downloaded a like a Logic or whatever the shit is called. I downloaded it on my uh, phone. Now I used to make beats off my phone type shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, like when I was used to like ditch, uh, at, like lunch or whatever at school, I used to make beats. And then I went to my friend's crib. His name is Andre. Shout out uh, LJ still to this day. He had a little studio in his garage. And I remember we ditched school and then we go back to his crib. He had a gar- he had like a little studio in his garage. They all they all go to like uh, they all go inside the crib type shit. But I'm just in a garage by myself. That thirty round clip song, I saw that beat from uh, Mexico Joe. Yeah, that shit was just up on. He used to post like mad beats on the SoundCloud before he really got popping, popping. <laughs> he used to post mad beats, and that was one of the beats I had downloaded. And for me, I used to make beats, so I know how to. Ex- I would know how to like cut, copy, and paste and extend a beat if it's like thirty seconds long. Right. So I just did that, and then I recorded over it with that that thirty round clip song. That's all a freestyle. Yeah. Literally, I did that all within like ten minutes. Editing from thirty seconds and all to recording and all, all ten minutes. Two ad libs, one, one, one take per each. 
like fast. Did you play it for anybody before you put it on SoundCloud? Um, yeah, I played it for this nigga right here and the rest of my other homies. Like for me, uh, 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 like not say really because. I wasn't a rapper, like, like, like. I wasn't a rapper. I kind of did it. We're just showing people, like, yo, listen to this. Like, this shit kind of slaps. Uh huh. You know what I mean? And um, but I wasn't saying. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it, bro. I was just showing people, bro. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't really, I didn't show too many people, but like, literally, the niggas that'll be be around me right now that you see type shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they they kind of believed in it though. They were like, yo, that shit actually is how you yeah, put bro. that out. Yeah, everybody, everybody was like, wow, like you're actually on beat. You have a melody, like wow, that actually wasn't too. That wasn't that bad type yeah. shit. That's like the craziest thing that they could say about your career. Just the fact that people fucked with your shit from hearing the first song yeah. that was a freestyle, like that yeah, just means facts. that they they liked you, they liked your voice, they from liked the, the flow. The fact that all that stuff was in place on from a natural level is like kind of out of the ordinary, man. For sure, that I mean, that shit right there. Let's like. It's a big ass, big ass like smile. kid smile on my face, man. Like for real, like niggas see me from the very get go, and they've still supporting me hardest. Like I got fans that'll curse you out, like my mama, if you like, if you say I said my music sucks or something like that. Like for me to have a following or a base like that to really go up and like stick up for me, that shit's awesome, bro. That shit would like make a nigga want to cry, bro. Real shit. Crazy. It's so, fire. so you put it on SoundCloud, it starts doing numbers right away, I assume. Yeah, bro. Um. Shout out John Ross. Me and John Ross put out that song. Right. And that shit hit like a million within like two months. So what was your relationship with John Ross? Was he just another kid you knew around LA? Exactly. Okay. And then when he heard that song, he was like, I kinda wanna be your manager. Interesting. So He was uh, he was Weege's manager before that. And like I said, Weege is the whole reason why I started rapping. Right. So were you cool with Ian at this point too? No, nah, I wasn't cool with Ian at this point. I met Ian through uh John. <clears throat> okay. Well I really met Ian, I really met Ian through like the internet. But he for sure wouldn't have seen like heard of, heard of me if it wasn't for John Ross. I feel like John Ross probably like playing my music in front of him type shit. And he was probably like, "Who's this?" Right? Because he, I'm, I'm I met Ian really through like a the uh, Twitter DM. Right. I was at home. I remember I was doing my laundry type shit, and I, he had DM me on Twitter, and I was like, "Oh shit!" And then Lil Yachty had re- retweeted me. Really? Yeah. And this is right. I have like four tweets. Like I just made my Twitter. I only tweeted the Dirty Round Clip song, and they retweeted it. I was like, oh, my fucking God. Like, what the fuck? You always knew you wanted to be the dude who didn't social media that much, huh? Um, No, not really, because that's not like that. I wouldn't really go out for that. You weren't that. going out of your way? It was just how you were? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, damn, I don't really have any cool photos to post right now, so I'm not just going to post some bullshit because I want to post something. It's like, mm-hmm. I'm going to just post whenever I really have a reason to. But do you make a lot of music? Yeah. And then not put out much because yeah. you, you've been so rare with it yeah. over the years, which I think is the smartest thing you can do at this point. Like music is so oversaturated that all the hot young dudes, like they just end up only having a, a handful of songs or whatever, like less than 10, 15 on their SoundCloud. Yeah. And I feel like you're like a huge definition of that because people wanted you to put out so much stuff for the past few years. Yeah, that's a fact. Everybody, I was supposed to have been put out of a uh, mixtape like two years ago. Fuck it. I should have been, this should have been like my third mixtape. But I'm finna drop still my first one. But yeah, no, I got a whole bunch of music. I just be recording. And then literally, I swear to God, every after like I recorded a boom, I say I record a song right now and I record a song like a half hour later. I feel like that song I recorded a half hour later is so much better than any other song I just recorded. It's like a learning that process. I need to, yeah, I need to keep going. Don't stop right now. Like me being like, okay, um, let me stop. I have enough for a mixtape. That's stupid. That's me like, nah, nigga, keep going. Uh-huh. And then now you got a fire ass mixtape. Now you have a whole bunch of just. You know what I'm saying? Shit to choose from to just throw all on one tape. So how'd your, what was your uh, plan from that first song though? Like, how did you approach your career and the fact that all of a sudden you're you're popular? And did it feel like you were popular or just the song at first? The song, because I had just made social media. Mm-hmm. So keep just no, I was going up. I was getting a whole bunch of plays and all that shit via SoundCloud and whatever the fuck else you want to call it, Spotify or whatever else. But that that doesn't translate over to Instagram. Instagram. You, you would have thought these havers didn't even have Instagram when I first started dropping music. Yeah. I had like 100 followers, but I had like like a half a million plays at the time. So shit. Right. So at that point, you, we, what was your attitude on like how your career is going to progress? Because you ended up signing with Joey Fats and doing the cutthroat thing. I didn't but, sign to shit. Oh, so you didn't sign to him? I didn't you? sign to shit. <laughs> you started rocking with no, him for a little yeah, while. Yeah, I was rocking with him. I didn't sign shit. No, okay. no type of deal, no type of management, no type of nothing. I didn't sign shit. So how did that situation come about, and what other plans were you considering at that time? I was in Jamaica with my family. He had reached out to me like, I'm fucking with you. Fuck with me. So 
I was like, for sure, let's get this money type shit. Uh huh. And so, how long were you actually uh, over there, hanging out with him and like having him? I don't even uh, remember, bro. Yeah. Was it was this a bad thing overall? You're not happy with how it turned out? I don't even know, bro. What's that mean? I don't even know. I, you don't know, as in you just don't want to talk about it, or that yeah. you're still confused? Nah, I ain't nothing to be confused about. I just. I don't even, I don't even know, bro. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be high. Right. Yeah, I went over there one time and I seen you, and you didn't really seem like you were in the best state of mind over there. Like I remember having a conversation with my friend, be like, you know, I, I think he, he might have to get out of there. Yeah, bro. I was, I was a little, I was just crazy, bro. I was getting in too much trouble. Mm -hmm. Let me just say that. Interesting. So, at this point, is it was it like a direct transition from sort of like kicking in with Joey a lot for a while to all of a sudden you're hanging out with Trap? Because that's sort of what it, what it seemed like, but I'm not sure what was going on behind the scenes. Well, well, nah, when I was banging with Joey, well, um, first off, shout out to Joey Fats, I hope as well. But um, when I was fucking with Joey, uh, I was fucking with Trap too. Okay. You know what I mean? Trap, Trap came on tour with me and Joey. Facts. So. Oh, okay. That one with Eddie Baker and everybody. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you already know. So shit. It was shit. It wasn't nothing new. You got arrested on that? Nah. No, he wasn't with us when we got arrested. Yeah, he came after. Mm -hmm. us. Yeah. <laughs> what was that like getting arrested on that shit? I've been arrested before, but that shit ain't nothing cool. But then you get arrested in like Texas? Uh, no, nah, I got arrested in racist ass, uh, um, West Memphis. Right. <laughs> Were you, were you guys just smoking like Infinity Backwoods in the van and thinking it was all good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were blowing down. Yeah, basically, but they was being dicks. They tried to tell us that we had like twenty pounds on us. Twenty pounds? I swear to God, that's what the um, officer said. He said you got y'all got twenty pounds. He said, "What the fuck?" Like, no, we don't. Where you see that at? He's like, "Y'all gotta show you shit." So, <laughs> I swear to God. Then we went down. Like, we went officer, down we couldn't fit twenty pounds in this van exactly. if we wanted to. Fuck you 12. fucking retard. Exactly. Uh, that's crazy. I wish we had twenty pounds. Maybe that cop <laughs> doesn't even know how big a pound is. He doesn't know that Real that's that's shit. a big that's investment. What I, I swear to God, I can't make fun of him that the whole the rest of the night. I was like, you don't even know what the fuck a pound is, bro. Do you have actually like have to deal with real uh, criminal charges from all that? Um, yeah, but I we 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 was locked up until we went to court. Okay, for how long was that? A couple of weeks? Nah, no, 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 a couple of days. Oh, a couple of days. Interesting. Yeah. Shit. So that, that changed how you think about uh, driving around the country in a smoked out van or not? Nah? Fuck no. <laughs> if I'm on tour again and fan, my fans got weed, give it to me. Yeah, that's a fact. That's like the best thing if about being gas. on tour. If it's gas. Go on tour, get people to give you weed. And sometimes you got to be really, really in their face because they'll be trying to smoke <laughs> with you and not just give it to you. And I learned from Maxo. <laughs> I, I heard Maxo just going to kids, Stupid. just give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. He just says, give it to me. And they just give it to him. No, I got to be gas first. Yeah, I mean, just, you don't want to be stuck in I a fucking fans, smoke session. Yeah. Some, I love my fans, but some of the niggas be smoking poop. <laughs> you ever get past something so bad at the show? Hell yeah, I just got to <laughs> pretend like I'm hitting it and smile at them. But I fuck with you, bro. Because <laughs> I fuck with them for even passing me the blunt. But yeah, them, them niggas ain't smoking on what I'm smoking on. What was that shit like when you first started to realize that you had all these all these kids who are basically like what you had been like a year or two before, right. and all of a sudden they're obsessed with you and treating you like you're you're right. the greatest thing ever? Right, that shit's fucking dope. Cause at the end of the day, I, bro, I'm not like I'm not like the rest of these niggas, bro. These Ooh. rap niggas, bro. I'm not. So, of me looking at a rapper and then me looking at a fan is no different. You know what I mean? I'm looking at two different people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So for me to see, I have a full like my fan base of people. You could say that were like me or people that weren't like exactly like me, but they're fond of my lifestyle or whatever the case may be. Like, that shit's dope as fuck because I got somebody else's attention. Now, like, now it's up to me on how to utilize it to, to the best of my advantage. Yeah. Um, That's a crazy thing. Hey, did it occur to you sort of early on when you started to get heat from the music side of things that, like, when it comes to being popping on Instagram, that it's really about, you know, taking good looking photos and shit like that? Because I feel like a lot of these kids fuck with uh, you for that reason, too. They're like, yo, he's just got swag. Yeah, bro, that's definitely a big part of it, too. You got to have swag with the shit. If niggas ain't got no swag, you got to think about it, bro. You got to think about it, bro. When you was a kid and you was like, and, 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 okay, boom, check this out. When you was a kid, who did you look up to? I mean, Dr. Dre. Yeah, swag, Snoop. right? Yeah, swag. Well, hell yeah. Okay, boom. I didn't even understand it because it was go. from out here. There you go. Are you yeah. from L.A.? No, I'm from like Boston, but I was looking at all these blue rags and shit like, just like, man, this shit seems so hard even though I don't understand it. Yeah. So you already know the deal. Or red rags. You already know the deal. 
you, 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 Dr. Dre had, must have had swag for you to be like, I fuck with the way this nigga move. Yeah, he was chubby too. Yeah, exactly. Who were you looking at before that though? Were you looking at Tyler? Like, damn, this shit's cool. Was, he yeah, got all was, the cream. Exactly. <laughs> that nigga right there, bro, still to this day, he got all, every single color box logo you could possibly think. Yeah. All in his room. It's just fire. If he were to show his cream collection on camera, it would probably upset a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. For sure, oh, wow. like a million dollars worth of shit. That's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, he, it's fire, bro. He has a big ass collection. Yeah, you still so so. What's your relationship with him like these days? He's cool, bro. That's my nigga. Okay. Yeah. Cause you know, like certain people like filming videos, riding around L.A., mentioning your name to him. How does that? How did that feel to you to see somebody else trying to involve you, your name yeah, in his that shit? Name is, look desperate. Is that weird? Yeah, kind of like a bitch shit. It's just desperate. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. What about that whole situation? Let's talk about that. Because we talked about it on here with the other person involved at length. And uh, I know you... Didn't we talk about it a little bit? But I know you talked about it a lot in the Say Cheese shit, too. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah, no, it ain't nothing, bro. Well, also, I was at a show, and I had to to jump behind a t-shirt rack because somebody was shooting a gun outside the show. Not you, but somebody was. (laughs) Yeah, bro. Them niggas ain't his shit, though. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a lot of people along the way, like sort of that you became associated with for a period of time that people wanted to put you in the same sentence as them, and then yeah. either shit didn't work out yeah, or you just I, don't. Yeah, the niggas really just have to boss up. Mm-hmm. Is that weird for you though to sort of have the fans like try to put you into this category? Of you, oh, you're supposed to be friends with this sure. guy. For sure, for sure. But then again, it's like fuck it because that's what they want to hear. So I can't blame them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But in the real world, shit, real, real recognized, real so. Shit, shit happens. Interesting. So, who do you consider yourself actually really close with on a musical level, like in the scene these days? The only niggas I fuck with is the the gentleman you see right here, grown man, grown boy trap, Jay Hey, Young Weez. You know what I mean? J D. Bands. Bands. Honcho, Honcho the Savage. Honcho the Savage. Ban- Bands should be here. Where is Bands. he? Bands. Bands. P O. P O. P O. Fred Blaze. Yeah. Lucky. Lucky. The producer, 16-year-old. 16 years. 16-year-old KG on fire great. right now. Yeah, he doing his thing. Yeah, 16 is killing shit right now. Crazy. What? Oh, All right, so, oh, so you about to pour up on camera? This is beautiful. Yeah. I be doing yeah. lean. <laughs> I be doing lean. Man, I did lean last night. That's why I'm all frazzled right now. Don't worry, you got faded last night? Yeah, off a one and a half. You know how it is. Um, <laughs> how'd the whole black boy thing come about? Were you guys just kicking it with bands and that just... It real, is. real niggas link up. Real niggas link shit, up. Real shit. Bands. I, I like, love bands, bro. Shout out, shout out, bands. I love bands. That's my brother. Like minded people. Yeah. Like-minded people. Real recognized, real, real. None shit. of that weird shit. Yeah. All right, so let's get a little bit of the grown boy trap story. You're from Florida. Yeah, Palm Beach. Palm Beach. All yeah, right. Brr. Right there. Palm Beach. That's Chop- where. Chopper City. That's my hood too, man. That's where I go on vacation with my family. Sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Sound good. <laughs> <laughs> no, we be in West Palm Beach. Oh, no, you probably be in West Palm. Yeah, That's different. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. It's big different from West Palm and Palm Beach. Okay, so how you start kicking up with rappers or, or rapping yourself? Shit, being the dope man. Oh, you were the dope man. Yeah. Like the weed man or like you're selling them heroin? Oh, we snitching out here. You know what it is. Selling that, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rollo. How about that? Shout out to Rollo. Yeah. That, that's like your inspiration? I fuck with Rollo the long You need way. a stack of like I have a million right I, here. This is why I, I, fuck, I fuck with Rollo because he remind me of me. Right. He so, remind yeah. me of me. You, know you got to be start doing some way wilder shit because I feel like him and Black Youngster are kind of in competition for who can do the biggest foolery. Yeah, them boys be, them boys be thugging. <laughs> Damn, you got two watches on. That's kind of foolish. You know what I'm saying? They're both good. Yeah, I'm rich niggas. Two shit. different times. <laughs> 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 two different times. Two different times. You know, he got to... Gotta That's fly, man. Your girl's back home. You gotta have Florida on the left hand and, and Cali on the right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you want to subtract three? You can't do that shit in your head. That's that's hard math yeah, problem yeah, shit. Yeah, man, I ain't got time for none of that. I got Florida right here. I got LA right here. Wherever I go, you know what I'm saying? Florida gonna be right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so how do you start rapping? So Florida. I start rapping. Shit, like. I'm so fucked. Shit, just, you know what I'm saying? Just being a. Damn, how I start rapping? I start rapping, bro. I don't even remember. Shit. It was an accident. 
Niggas I just, just made a song. Hopped, and somebody said, get in the booth, bro. I made I made a song trolling. It was called, like, Thought This. I was dissing girls. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know, like, um, the Fetty Wap. Like, Baby, Would You Come My Way? Yeah. That song. I, I, just, I, I remixed it. Yeah. I was talking about <laughs> girls being like, Baby, Would You Come My Way? She from Florida. She got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like, I've never heard that. So, like, I'll let you get it. You didn't play that shit. You didn't play that shit. I deleted that shit. But yeah, I did that shit. That's iconic. And, like, and then, like, the first day I dropped it, I got a thousand plays. So I thought I made it. Damn, you guys are in the same like similar category. We just make a song fucking around and then it just starts cracking, huh? So yeah, I thought I made it. And then after that, I was like, okay, I'm gonna take it right serious after that. I deleted it. Then I started like releasing music and shit. But like everybody fucked with me, so it's like it was kinda easy for me. Cause like all the like niggas that's hot, like slump guys, shout out to Ski, that's my dog. They all was fucking with me already. Because you were serving them. Huh? Because you were serving I mean, please, me and Ski, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, in a way, we don't, I don't serve skis or something before, but like that's my dog. Though. Somebody's serving ski. <laughs> He's doing something. Somebody no, got to be ski. giving him all that hey, shit. That's my dog winning though. That's why I'm mad at him. Mr. Van he is a really feeling like elastic. Right but yeah, so like <laughs> me and ski used to like sleep at the same studio. Like my dog landlord shit. We would just like be there and like, I watched him record literally like, you know the mixtape when that went ridiculous? Mm-hmm. Slap the from old designer. One? Designer. Yeah. That's when, like, so he recorded that shit, like, while I slept, I was sleeping, like, with him, like, not with him, but, like, sleeping in the couch, and then he was recording it, that shit, and then, like, I was like, damn, this shit, you know what I'm saying? Then he used to tell me, oh, you, your shit fire, bro, just do it, do it, do it, do it. So, like, I would just rap a little bit, and then I would release songs, but, like, I had always, like, I was, I always had money selling dope and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it was, like, this rap shit whack, because I wasn't getting paid for it. Mm-hmm. Niggas I, been touching bands. Like I just start getting paid from you. Don't just, let this rap shit fool you. Yeah, real shit. Ain't seen, <laughs> niggas so ain't seen no started, type of check from this rap shit. I just I'm started like, you know what I'm saying? Don't let this you shit know, fool you. See money from this rap shit. But I still see more money. Seen more money before. But I'm going to start seeing real money because now I'm taking rap all the way serious, I guess. Yeah. And that's a weird thing. You start selling drugs, you can start making money right away. You start rapping, you you probably got to work. That's, that's the thing. You can get paid. Oh, you can get paid like three, four bands for a show. You know what I'm saying? But you could make three bands by dropping make around. Ten bands, two stops, days. two stops. You could just make a quick right. five make bands like that. You know what I'm saying? Hour. So it's like ten you gotta strip. get on the plane, do all that. I feel like it's dr- selling drugs is way easier. And than to rapping. be the, the type of rapper that can make three thousand dollars off a show, you gotta be a pretty popular rapper. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know, but like yeah, but I'm really? saying you can make that driving around, making three, four, five pit stops, mm-hmm. and you just made three, five, three, three to five bands. School. But there's all the risk. That's the yeah. whole thing. There's a no, bunch no, of no, risk. No, no, it, it ain't really school, a risk because, yeah. like, just don't get caught. Like, yeah. you, you heard that Jeezy song, don't get caught. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's a risk. That's a risk. Try not to get caught. You can do your thing. You can do your thing. Just don't get caught. Yeah. Do you ever get caught? Have I gotten caught? I never got caught. Really? Yeah. You never got arrested. Knock on wood. I know, I've been arrested plenty of times. But not for any like good shit? Huh? Not for good shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Being a badass jit. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. that's the fucked up thing. He's like, it's so easy to imagine how easy it would be to just, you know, throw a key of coke in the car and just drive across the country. That's but if you easy. do get caught, you're going to go to jail for 20 years. 20? Yeah. I mean, Probably, at the right? day, no, if you got no, five ass lawyers, you're going to face yeah. some life, bro. Yeah, but I feel like every case is beatable. If coke, you got five lawyers. Coke shit, serious. I don't know. Key of coke in the trunk is pretty tough to beat when you're in fucking Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> you got an LA ID. Oh, oh, oh you going, I live you going up the road. Like, you doing the long. Yeah, you, there. <laughs> you know the routes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you going up the road. Yeah. Nah. Stay in school. Don't do. Jail. You can't. You can't be doing those we're, those we're drives anyway. You took you took hate, gutter with the hate, tattoos hate, and stuff. I hate driving. Actually, you might still be I doing that shit because you don't have hand tattoos. As long as you don't have the hand tattoos, then you might still be able to do some drives. Yeah. I love to drive. Face yeah. too. Yeah. I hate. I, I hate driving. driving with a passion. I swear to God, I really? hate driving. Really? Yeah, I don't drive nowhere. We were just in Atlanta together, and you told me you had just driven like twenty hours from yeah, Florida. Yeah, this nigga nah, not, he be doing weird shit. I be like driving, that. but I hate driving. I drive. I have to. <laughs> nah, this like, nigga scared of planes. Wanna, you don't want to say. I don't want to be. I ain't want to be in Atlanta. Like you know, without what I'm your gun. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the first thing you looked at when you came in. Well, because I was thinking that I, we get in the studio and I'm just looking at you. I'm like, how the fuck you got a gun? Like, didn't you fly here? And you're like, nah, I drove here. I'm like, oh, because of the gun. The, the label wanted me to fly. They wanted me to fly, but I drove and I brought some of my dogs. You know what I'm saying? I like, I'm one of those niggas Woo. who love my dogs. Like, mm-hmm. I go hard by my dogs. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if I'm, you with me, I'm with you. You can't leave the house without the dog. Yeah, I'm with my dogs. Everywhere, everywhere I go, my dogs come. When I go on tour, we in there be deep as fuck. You're an animal lover. I love my niggas. Yeah. And best believe that dog barking. Mm. They barking. 
The dog's yeah. howling at the moon. You yeah. know, I was doing the interview with Gleesh for a little while before I realized that I that was what the Gleesh. dog was. <laughs> like, he's talking about the dog for a second before. Uh, like, my co-host had to be like, you know, he's talking about gun, right? I'm like, ah, fucker. <laughs> Yeah. At least you got the dog bark. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I mean, Gleesh be talking about so much random weird shit that I was I like, you know, he might really be talking about a dog barking. I love Gleesh. I love Gleesh. I want to say that too. I ain't gonna ask a real nigga. He showed me love. Gleesh don't get the credit he deserves for being as influential and as amazing as he is. You know, like the, the people. Ooh, shout, shout out Lotto, Lotto Savage. Lotto too. Savage, man. Lotto. Yeah, hey, look, Lotto Savage wanted to like it's fake ass industry. It's like lame ass industry, but Lotto Savage like. Real nigga, like solid. Real shit, solid. Real nigga. That's good to know. Yeah, there's a lot of weirdos out here, but you know. Yeah, dick in the booty hole, ass niggas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but <laughs> that part. But um, yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah. So, so the whole block boy name did that like come from anything in particular? Or you guys just like, nah, we fuck with like, each other. We just said block boys. It was we didn't yeah. think twice about it. We That's just true. said it literally. But it's yeah. like you know what I'm saying like you know block boy. That's what it is. <laughs> like. Black boy, hot boy, black you know boy. what it is. Black boy, hot boy, it's a black boy world. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? World. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's throw this in there. Tell me about sake and what it means and, and how you became involved in it. Sake is a, uh, is a, it was a brand that uh, our brother Jack Phoenix, who passed away, came up with. Jack. Yeah, RP Jack. Is I had only met him like maybe a month before he passed. Exactly. Exactly. So you already know how that crazy kid functions. Yeah, well, I just know how many people it hurt because I was like hanging out with Hesh and shit. You know, Hesh was around him and shit. And that's, I just, I know how it felt for everybody else, even though I didn't know him that well. Yeah, for sure. How tight were you with him? That was, that was like my little brother right there, bro. Real shit. And that was his, that was his like, like, brother, brother, like, can't tell him nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, they, yeah, bro, that's just, that was was my little bro. And he passed away, huh? Um, a hit and run incident. Mm-hmm. And a car was getting. It was in a high speed chase. A car was getting chased. Type shit. So how did that affect you when you passed? Uh, made me not really give a fuck about whatever the fuck the next person may have going on. Mm-hmm. Like anybody could get this shit. God, you know what I mean? Yeah. So the store was the store already around, or the store got no. launched afterwards got by launched his family, afterwards. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, we did a big like memorial, uh, um, uh, not 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 a memorial party, but like a memorial little event type shit where we um they put his they put his all of his drawings up on the wall Mm -hmm. and all that shit, and then like anyone that wanted to come to the gallery could come like see his shit, and that shit had like five hundred people there. Yeah, it was packed the fuck out. So in my head, I knew uh, a store was coming soon. Like, if everybody really gave a fuck to come see, you know what I'm saying, my little homie's drawings, mm-hmm. I knew in my head, like, if we were to launch the store, it'd be successful. Like, a lot of people would 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 would, would uh, support, I guess, whatever whatever uh, we got going on yeah. towards, towards our little brother. Yeah, that's crazy. So, have you have you never signed or anything? I just signed. You just time. did? I, yeah, I just signed. Both signed. Inter- yeah, I know Same you do. Place. Same place. Okay. Same place. So is that like what, what was your attitude on signing? Because I know you had people trying to get you to sign from day one. Um. Yeah, people have been trying to sign me, but uh, I just I signed because uh, I signed. Uh, it was just the 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 best the best way I could possibly move right now. Uh, don't get me wrong. I can move by myself independently. I was moving. I was pulling in at least. Uh, God strike me down if I'm lying. I was pulling at at least at 17 years old, at least seven to eight bands a month, mm-hmm. at least when I was 17 and 18. I'm 19 right now. I'm pulling more than that now, but at least when I was, you know what I mean. So was that overwhelming? Like making all this money and you don't really know how to act or how to save it and shit like that. Exactly. You, that boy be spending. Exactly. Oh, yeah. You run through a lot. <laughs> you got of some shit. nice clothes. Hey, yeah, he, you run through a lot of shit. Just, just spending. He's so low with his money. Yeah. He really yeah. Need. yeah, that's all of us. Really, like yeah. he take care of his dogs that's to the point us. where it's like, everybody like. I'm gonna always make sure if the if if the next person around me if that's if that's my camp, you know what I mean. I'm gonna go my I'm gonna go out my way to make sure you straight. Mm-hmm. Even that's to the shit. point where it's like nigga. You got on clean boxers and you got some weed to smoke on, like it's weird type shit. Like, like I'm, I'm gonna just make sure the next person's straight. Like, just, just like if I was, like I was just thinking, what if I'm in the next person's situation? I don't yeah. want no, you know what I'm saying? I would want somebody to help me out as much as they possibly can if I needed it. Yeah. 
Has that ever gotten to the point where you were like helping out people that then you realize that you shouldn't have been helping them out? That kind of shit. Exactly. Yeah. I I want to say it, but I feel like we already know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hear some names. Come on. Let's get lit. Should I get lit? <laughs> I just left Cutthroat Records. Right. Okay. That was so. In your opinion, was that doomed from the beginning? Like being involved with no, it? No, nah, because we was uh, we was a team getting money uh-huh. to the point where it wasn't even all, just like a D Savage Joy Fest thing. I had all, I had he was a he was a part of it and getting money with us. You know what I mean? I had a whole. It was like an outlet for my for for just young niggas. Everybody. But it seemed kind of crazy from the beginning because he had Uno listed as he was on it, and then Uno right away took issue with it. And I was like, damn, what's what, yep. what is that? That's strange. Yep. That happened. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Anyway, so being signed though, like, how do you see? Like, like it's kind of crazy because you could you're talking about making seven, eight thousand dollars when you're seventeen. To At a lot least. of kids out there, they can't even imagine what it would be like to make six figures a, a year. Lot of people, you know, I'm won't make that mm-hmm. real shit. But then, like, that's the weird thing to realize as a rapper though is that like, yeah, you might be making however much ten, fifteen, twenty grand in a month, but what are you going to be doing a few years from now? And the label thing is kind of weird because, yeah, they might be able to help you get into a better situation in that sense, but they might not. You know, they might stall your ass out, too. Exactly. That, that, yeah, that could also happen as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. You never know what the case may be. But I, I'm, I just, I don't know. I don't have that type of situation going on. You're happy with the, the situation you got into? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. If I wasn't happy, I wouldn't even bother. I, I really don't even need to be signed. Right. Thanks. I mean, that's the weird thing with being assigned too. Is you can still go do all the like regular rapper shit on your own. You can still go juke people for features. <laughs> you can still go like do a show, do all this shit, like all the normal rapper ways of making money. It's just like you have, then have like a different lane that you could like put yourself into, it, trying to be more official and shit. You know? This thing is stupid. Yeah. Man, let's just keep it on it. Nah, I never did that. I swear to God, I know think is beyond that though. I don't think it's not I really swear like. To God, I never did well, that. people be juking for features, and people also be like. Oh yeah, let me. I'll do a feature for you, and then do the worst song, the worst verse ever. Okay, yeah. So you know they ain't never, even gonna I put never it did out. That, but okay, yeah. Nah, that's that's cap. Yeah, fuck that, no. Nah. That's cap. Fuck that. Fuck that. I, yeah, I was on this, nah, at least that nigga's yeah. on the song. Fucking mm-hmm. shit. At least you got some trash from that nigga. <laughs> Uh, okay. I heard of a good one where it was like a pretty popular rapper and he got paid for a feature and a video and then like you know he went out for a for a, a cigarette break and then he dipped he out left. before he could do the video uh-huh. you know who, so you who, get, who did that I can't say but I was like I was <laughs> hyped names, it's man. a dude who's too popular yeah, no, to do nigga, that you drop names no, like, you, you drop, drop names, names. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. That. <laughs> so who fuck that drop a name I can't say I'll tell you guys after where did they start with oh man I would love to tell you guys I'll tell you after. No, but that, that's like, is that all? That's the question. Out. Is that fair? Is that like, that's part of the game? Or is that like, nah, you, you just, you I fuck mean, the game up? That's the risk you take for paying for a feature, I guess. Do, mm. it, like, do it on your own. Yeah. I never pay for a feature. Like, I never yeah. will. You would never pay for a feature? I would never pay anybody for a feature. Yeah, that's a whole different ballpark. Bro, oh, tell us, say the my, name. My label be saying, my label be saying, <laughs> the label be like, oh, we have to pay for things. I'd be like, what? I would never pay nobody for features. Right. They want to pay people. They want to pay for <laughs> him to pay people. They want, like, we ain't paying for features. But the label will start making weird decisions. They'll be like, oh, yeah, we want nah, you to I get a feature from this weird ass person that we're going to pay him 20 grand. Nah, I, don't and, pay, yeah. I don't pay for we features. Don't pay for the features label, here. The label just come to me with songs by other artists. Like, yeah. I, but, they, but they be wanting to I pay for I be like, no, I don't want to do that, bro. like, what they told me was like, they pay for it. I was like, what you mean? Like, I don't want man. I don't know. I ain't yeah. never had that problem. I ain't paying nobody for features. Wait, so the label try to get you to like take other people's hooks that are already written and shit no, like no, that? No, 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 no. A label nah, nah, just play, to hop on. Play me Leah. It's something to hop on type shit. That's the crazy shit too though is that like certain labels once you get signed they start handing you songs that other people wrote and everything and like hey you want to perform this and then you hear the mixtape after they get signed and there's like a couple songs that just sound like way too well written. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you're like, yeah, that's who wrote this hook? I, 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 exactly. See, I don't want to ever be known as somebody who don't. I don't write. You see me record. Yeah, you know, I see me record. So I'll never have nobody write a song for me. That's disrespectful. Mm. Yeah, it's weird coming from a street perspective. Like you guys are coming from, I guess, right? Yeah, that's just. Yeah, yeah, I never got nobody write for me. All right, let's talk about producers. So, yeah, you, like so it. who who you been fucking with since the beginning and everything? I seen. I was with him and Drummer Boy in the studio the other day. Fire. Drum was legendary. Boy, real nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's real as fuck. And he was teaching us things too. Mm-hmm. Shout out Drum, but that's my nigga, that's my dog, that's my big bro. He's a camp We, we still talk like on the regular. He just FaceTimed me the other day because he opened up 
House the store. Of, the House of Fresh. Yeah, yeah. Was, and I'm like, gotta get some Air Forces because I'm a, a, addicted to Air Force Ones. You really are. That's all you wear, huh? All white Air Forces. I like that because everybody's trying to go designer and shit. You're like, nah, white Air Forces Dope for life. Fresh. Yeah. Dope Boy Fresh. <laughs> all white Forces. Go yeah. anything. Cocaine White. Yeah, shout out Drum Boy. That's my nigga. Shout out Cocaine. All right, so what producers do you work with, D Savage? Uh, the producers I fuck with tough gotta be Dale Vinci, 16 year old, J Splash. I fuck with Jay Splash too. Who's uh-huh. one there? That's that's probably the producer that sent me. Chinatown, the real nigga. Milan makes beats. RT on track. That's you fucking with, yeah. I fuck with landlord. Yeah. My homie Linnell that makes beats. Cake Nelly. Boy. Cake Boy, yeah. Uh, Cake Boy. Fucking. Uh, D Savage, he produced too. Yeah. D Savage on the mix, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, these have You still be making beats? Yeah, still be making beats. He produced some of his. I produced some of my shit. That's on the tape. And he's gonna produce some. Oh, so stuff. how how's this tape looking right now? Crazy. It's looking pretty nice, bro. Okay. So how long do you think we might have to wait for that? Not too long. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I'm I'm pulling up, but I'm I'm not finna tell you my ETA. But people have been geeking for that tape for a long time. Two years. Yeah, like not like a lot of the SoundCloud rappers that put out shit this year, people were waiting for a year and that seemed like a long time. Yeah. But people have really been waiting for years for your shit. Yeah. I just be, yeah, like I said, I just be moving in silence, bro. You ready to believe? When that shit drop, it's gonna fuck up. When that shit drop, it's gonna turn the world upside down. Lil' bro got that gas. Crazy. What do you like from your perspective though, what is the label really gonna help do? Because I feel like the main thing they could do for you is just make you more of a celebrity, like help get you in magazines or like help get you like shit. You Boom. Know, right? That's the, the, the idea. Boom. hmm Whatever the case may be, let's do it. You know what I mean? Do you what do you think of like the shit like because that must be weird for you as a person who's sort of been laid back in the cut not putting out a ton of music and then you've seen all these different rappers coming out over the past couple of years does that make you feel like damn like people are coming like maybe gonna take the spot that i carved out for myself or are you just feeling like nah because it can't nobody do what the fuck i got going on mm-hmm. you know what i mean so, yeah. i feel like that's always kind of the worry as a rapper you know it's like damn yeah. like are people going to come not, out and try yeah, to take yeah, my yeah. sauce? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to discredit the next man, though. You know what I mean? I, we, we've been seeing a lot of fire artists. It's more rise, but what I'm, yeah. but, but what I'm trying to say is, can't nobody do what you do? Yeah, like me. Can't nobody do that. Like I got a whole, di- I got a whole different sound. In his own lane, his if own I was, complete if sound. I to, if I were to I play like my mixtape right now, you, you, you'd understand. What's well, so those uh, advances and evolution since the uh, the stuff that's on your SoundCloud right now? Sure. Yeah, bro, to the point where the shit is on my SoundCloud, I don't even like listening to Like, some shit I be performing, I don't even like doing it. Really? Yeah, because I'm so tired of doing that old shit. Yeah, you're stuck with a lot of songs that are like super popular that you probably. Exactly. But they were so early on and you making music exactly. that you must be like, man, this shit is bad compared to the shit I'm doing now. Exactly. Exactly. That's like that's like telling you to do that one song you made when you was dumb. When you sm- Cause you didn't really smoke weed when you was 15. So you <laughs> yeah. smoked weed and you was dumb high and you did that one song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like somebody telling you to do that over and over and over and over. You ever have a situation <laughs> where you said some gangster ass shit on a song and then you didn't really feel like having to repeat it every day for the rest of your life, everything you played live? Fuck no. Nah, that shit's <laughs> good. That's good. <laughs> I could just imagine making a song and being in a bad mood, being like, fuck everybody, I'm the hardest out, blah, blah, blah. And then like that song gets cracking and then you're like, Damn, I don't know if I feel like saying that every night. <laughs> nah, never that. I'm on whatever. That's good. Yeah. These, these LA streets, they get crazy, huh? Yeah, they get pretty Florida. You got to be careful pretty. about how you move around? For sure. You definitely got to keep one eye open. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Because you never know when the fuck shit may get bracket. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. What about out here compared to Florida? Ain't no place like Florida. <laughs> yeah, I ain't never been. I gotta go. You know this nigga trying to take me to Palm Beach. <laughs> I'm a Florida boy. You did? My so, man, you gotta be different. from Florida to love Florida, I feel like. I love, I love, I'm obsessed with Florida. It's like a football team. You know, you like, the football <laughs> team's just a bunch of guys. It's like, just, you, you don't choose what football, football team you're stuck with. You know, the I'm Florida, stuck with Florida. If you love Florida, <laughs> it's because you fucking came up there, probably. Yeah. That's, I love Florida. Really? What's your day to day like out there? Like now or like before? Uh, let's say now. Now I'm just I just be cool, mm-hmm. chilling. Trying to stay out of trouble. Facts. Money. Getting this racket. Yeah. What about uh? So what do you think D Savage is gonna think of Florida when he come out there? He gonna love it. Yeah. Love it. Well, yeah. 
But you know what I'm saying? I'm all about a sack. Yeah. So yeah, you already know. Well, were you were you in any way influenced by like all the crazy huge rappers that came out of Florida over the course of the past like couple nah, of years? Nah, I listen like I listen to niggas like Jeezy, Gucci, Bucci, Plies. You know what I'm saying? Like that real street shit. You know what I'm saying? Bucci, Webby. I, that's who I grew up listening to. Shit like that. I just like that. niggas who be thugging and just be snapping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like real snap shit. But how do you feel about all the crazy, all the weirdest kids on earth that you ever seen in your life are all of a sudden exploding out of Florida? Is that weird? But then you got Kodak, who's more like a traditional street rapper, Kodak and snapping. he's like the biggest one of them all. Yeah, Kodak that's why, that's why he's the biggest. Snapping, bro. But like, but like all that weird shit. I don't know. I don't agree with that weird shit. I want niggas to be authentic. What's so too like, weird for you? Everything these niggas be doing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All, er, dress code. That's the cool. Great Valley Young Thugs. These niggas be great. Oh, shut up. I fuck with thugs. Thugs are hard. Right. Like, thugs. Oh, but like, these niggas like be Great Valley Young Thugs. All that weird shit rolling their eyes. All that devilish shit. Devil mm -hmm. worship shit. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm a son of God, man. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm a son of God. I believe in God. What about you? Are you religious? Huh? You religious at nah, all? Nah, I don't believe in that. He's not really I don't, I don't agree with him. But he's not like. Sick, but he's not, he not with he that devil. devil he's not with that devilish shit. shit. Like all that. All that. Fuck, I don't, man. That's too scary. It's scary. It's, scary. You know it's just wrong. It's just, I just believe in God, so yeah. it's like I gotta stay, stay true to myself. That's funny I mean, too. And like one time I prayed, and like cause like I flunked a grade, and I prayed. I don't know if it's true, but I flunked, <laughs> and then they put me in the right grade when school really? started. I swear to God. Wow. And I'm like, damn. I pray that I answer. So you hear this nigga, bro? I swear to God. I swear to God. I think that's why. You pay, nah, you prayed bro, bro. for bad school systems that, yeah. that let kids through. Yeah, I knew that shit. But like, like I don't. Yeah, that's real. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't know. I, I be when I like, you know, I, don't know. I pray all the time. But I'm saying like, you 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 get locked up and then you just like, all right, bro, let's get it. God yeah. got you. And God and really, that shit and God got right. me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. like, coming out beat. Well, it's oh, funny because, you know, I don't believe in God, but I be watching academics all the time. And academics, like when he was talking about when Uzi was saying Fuck all that shit academics. about... academics. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's my God, man. <laughs> oh, that's your God? <laughs> nah, man. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I don't even Fuck really DJ know him, but I, I like him. <laughs> Fuck DJ Academics. <laughs> Wait, why? Why? Huh? Why? Because he's a certified bitch who keeps I, trolling I, me. I ain't gonna lie, he did He trolls you? He did troll me. on some hating shit. Fuck DJ Academics. I feel like I've never seen him talk about you. What do you say? I bro, I don't even want to say it, bro. I remember because I, remember, I don't even I want. I don't even want to feed into that. But he look, knows. Face, so fuck I, DJ Academics. I Facetime him and he was snapping. He was like, "Yo, I'm he was trying to pull up on him, take shit." Nah, don't even talk about it, bro. But <laughs> I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna even. You know, I ain't gonna go no farther though. But he was tight. Damn, that's funny. Thirty-eight. Anyway. Some guy that I know who makes YouTube videos, he was watching Lil Uzi Vert talk about, you know, uh, you know, I sold my soul, like shit like that. And he was like offended. And I'm thinking, I'm like, you can't sell your soul. So what the fuck are you offended by? You can't like literally you can sell your soul. How? I mean, you could do something that you don't believe in. I know, I believe you still God, can have a but soul. I'm just saying, these, these niggas be selling their soul for real. I believe mm. that shit. Because like, I'm Haitian. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do, we do woo. Mm, okay, yeah. See, you nah, you got brought up in that. But, but, don't even but, fit into but, it, bro. but yeah, I ain't you know what I'm saying. He shouldn't do woo, but I'm just saying. Mm. So you could definitely say so. Interesting. You ever put like a curse on anybody? You're like, you're like a I believe in God. I believe yeah, yeah, God. yeah, 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 yeah. You, <laughs> you gotta chill out there. You gotta chill out there, bro. You trying to get niggas in trouble? I believe in God. <laughs> oh man. All right. So like, what you guys up to? Like when you're out here together? What's the average day of y'all hanging out? Yeah, we just be we just be chilling. Like we just chilling, chilling nigga. High. We just be chilling, chilling, you know what I'm saying? Just cooling it all. Probably you go know what I mean? The these niggas from Florida, bro, so I feel like it's up to me to really show them around. Mm -hmm. You, show you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take them to the fireplace to go be, get some food, be eating that Boston I'll be over. In New York with him more. Yeah, LA, yeah, I live in New York, so you feel me? So yeah, we really be taking a little penthouse out there. But I'm really waiting for him to come come to Florida, bro. He tripping. Listen. He's going to be so let down when he realizes how little there is going on there. Bro, he needs what? 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 <laughs> what the fuck? What? You got me bent. There ain't nothing going on in Florida. Like, I'm going to take this nigga to the club in Florida one time. He oh, don't like the club. Yeah, hey, I never did hey, that. Yeah, hey, I've never been D, to a club. Don't like the club. I promise you, bro, we're going to have you lit. We're going to have you we're gonna have right in Florida. Turn. Let's do it. Bro. Well, actually, Everything. shout out. You, you cool with Bruno? You know what I'm talking the, about? The porn nigga? Yeah. I mean, I know him. I've been to I went to a wild ass party at his house. That was that was probably the coolest shit I ever did in Florida. You do no me? No, I got a girlfriend. Stop. You're right. Yeah, I would never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I got a girlfriend. girlfriend. I can't do shit. Ain't no like. I'm gonna take yeah, you to Florida. So I'm just here. You gonna pull up to my hood too? Just all types of shit. Go shopping. Everything. I like to shop. He like to shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, like, oh, I love to shop. Bro. Love to shop. We be at, we be in New York, and like this nigga would accidentally shop. 
Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll be somewhere, and he'll see the story, like, yo, I'm going to go in there real quick. And then he come out spending two bands. Really? Yeah, it'd be shit. random, bro. Cause like, when you see some shit that's fire, and you gotta get it right. And he gotta there. get it. He don't think twice. Mm-hmm. He spends. He spend that check. Man, that's a good level to be on, though. You but know? that's the same with this nigga. Yeah, I like don't let too. this nigga be around like no Gucci store, like no loose or like, they like belts or mm-hmm. forces. Air Force or forces. forces. This nigga will buy like six pairs of Air Force forces, forces right now. <laughs> yeah, I love forces. all white. Yeah, I only wear white forces. No, other. all white. I don't get it. So you got the vision, like, fashion-wise. These kids are looking at you. How do you feel about the landscape or what motherfuckers are wearing right now? Are there any whack trends, anything that you believe bro, in? Bro, niggas need to stick to whatever the fuck they, wanna, they, they, wanna, like, they yeah. wanna wear and it looks good, bro. Like, you, everybody has an eye. You know what I mean? Everybody can see. So if you look in the mirror and you can tell that you look like a fag, then switch it up, bro. I, I, like, I like, I'm into fashion. I be looking like rapper, like... like Comparing, she be like, who fresh is? Mm. But I everything though, like I'm I'm geek on everything. I'm on beat on everything. I know everything going on. But how you feel about the bondage pants with all the straps between them and stuff? To me, you know what that? I'm talking about? What? They got all the straps between them. They're like tight black pants with the zippers and the straps back. You talking and forth. about like the wanna be number nine pants? Probably, Wait, yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. the one with like, the wanna be like, number like, nine? Like, like, like suspenders on that bitch? You no, know, I'm talking about like. The pants and they got like straps going between the legs, you know, and like you're oh, walking around like that. They I look, never, I ain't never seen. They that look shit. like they're doing some kind of kinky like sex I shit or something to me. Never seen that like, shit. I ain't never like, seen like, that shit. I, but I love that rappers like. Yeah, Dolph, well, you're in Florida. Dolph niggas like that. Be like, oh, Dolph be fresh. I can look at Dolph. Dolph. <laughs> Young Dolph be fresh. Okay, you know, I'm rocking with that too. That's cool. I, li- I like Dolph. I would swag. rather look. I like, like 21 swag too. 21 I would like to look like 21. Gucci man with like oh, man. man. Gucci got so much shit. If you actually watch his Snapchat and shit. Burr. Bro, Burr. he got so much I shit. Like a Gucci, Gucci man, let me see Gucci. Bro, like in that wedding, they're giving each other like the craziest jewelry, just ring. over and over yeah, and over. I'm like, yeah, what yeah, is yeah. this? Twenty one be fresh too. Yeah, yeah twenty one be fresh. Well, you you you, um, you guys um, aspire to go in that twenty one direction and just get the famous girlfriend? <laughs> nah, nah. Come nah. on, me. <laughs> I bet D Savage fucked all kinds of famous girls I know about. I be cooling. <laughs> I be cooling. <laughs> we doing his thing. I do my thing. I could see you with like a black china or something. I don't no, like black girls. Cannot, bro. Oh my lord, I don't Lord, like black girls. Bro. What? No? Oh. None. Nah, that bitch is a no no. She's a no no. That bitch is a certified no no. So you telling me? You telling me you, you telling me you telling me you went smash black china? That's what you trying to tell me? I got my baby mama though. <laughs> <laughs> I got my I got baby, baby mama, mama though. <laughs> Okay. What about you? You ain't got no kids, bro? Hell no. You ain't got no kids? You no, know I think about with you two is that you pick on him for being light skinned and he pick on you for being dark skinned? All the time. <laughs> That's just, I assume. I, be, I, be, I ain't even going to say he going to get hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I be calling him Chris Brown. He gets, he gets tight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, stop doing that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they always, bro, this nigga is always calling me Chris Brown. Chris Brown. Bro. Yeah. nothing like Chris I, Brown. I, I Chris like Brown's an LA icon. I put, I put, I put like Snapchat, Chris Brown, I put bro. Savage Brown. I just be clowning him. You know what I'm saying? Don't you like Ray Rondo? Yeah, eh, a little bit. No. Who do you look like though? You look Wrong like boy. a motherfucker from Florida. Yeah. Wrong boy. Rolling up big Wrong ass boy, Florida boy. Boy. You already know what the fuck going on. Thirty nine hundred twenty seven. Yeah, Roscoe's. Yeah, you don't know. That's Roscoe. Roscoe. Right yeah. What's yeah. what Ro- you call it, Blunts? Roscoe. Roscoe. Yeah, you know, you know Roscoe. smoking on Roscoe. Like, you no know, dogs be like you all. Everybody got a dog that be name be Roscoe. They be fat as hell, like a fat ass pig. So they be running out Roscoe's. Right, so Roscoe, right Roscoe, there. <laughs> All right, cool. You been to Roscoe's fried chicken out here? No. Chicken and waffle spot. What? Well, yeah, niggas never been to Roscoe's. I'm never, just not I, finding this out. Okay, so I, I, we're going after this. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. Make it. I never go been to Roscoe's. Yeah, we finna go have he, dinner there. That's a big part of LA, he took right me there. To somebody who fire. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, what's that place called? That's so so fire. Oh, wait, 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 which? Breakfast place? The, the fries. Oh, Mr. Oh, 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 oh Mr. Fries, Mr. Fries Man. Fries. In Gardena. Shout out Mr. Fries Man. Fresh shit, fresh What's happening, in Calvin? That's my nigga right there. That's far. He be I don't hooking know about it that. up. Yeah, yeah, it's far, but. I've been to the skate park down there, though. Rowley? What's that? What's, what's that? What's the hype park. place that everybody talks about? The bike place? No, it's like a hype place. Like food that's LA's famous for. It's a lot, bro. Yeah, there's it's a lot. Of them. You can't you can't say that, bro. You have to like go more into detail. There's a lot of shit out here. I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember. It's someplace. No, nah, we finna go to Roscoe's after this. Though, Roscoe's, 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 Roscoe's is chicken and waffles. Fire. Oh, this breakfast place I ate the other day was so gassed, dog. It was the best breakfast place I ever ate in my life, dog. I don't remember the name. Oh, it's in my notes. Dunkin' Donuts? Nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. It's in my notes. It was in the, it was it's in the in cut, my notes. Too. It's called Best, best Waffles ever. Sweet Chicks. Sweet Chicks. Oh, yeah. Bro, that's just in New York, bro. We've ate they there got, before, bro. We never ate there in New York. 
Oh yeah, that shit. Oh, gas. I, 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 I ate there. I ate, I ate there with um G Herbo. That's that's the best uh best um pancakes I ever ate in my life. That's intense. Yeah, man, I remember the first time I ever oh, bought Florida weed a pack got, of woods. Florida got the best foods. You said what? <laughs> I remember the the time I bought weed a pack of woods. <laughs> <laughs> he was too young or something. He old, had to get it for him. Yeah, yeah. Old ass no jumper interview with John Ross and we we was not having a good time. He was a little. He was like that boy used to be fake. He was fried. Yeah, bro. When the only reason why you point that out a little bit. That, yeah, come on. That all the uh, shit happened between. Yo. Oh, the video, the shit. interview getting deleted. I ain't mad about it no more. No, I don't care. No, bro, I'm just here to say, bro. It was John Ross scared to text you off his. Oh, wait, was there an angry DM from you? Huh? I don't even know if I remember that. I think I only remember seeing the angry DMs from him. No, right no. on top of his lean right here. This is ballsy stuff. No, nah, but he's the one that said to the it. the fucking mic, my nigga. <laughs> 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 nah, bro. He's the one who said it to you, bro. Oh, no. I'm cool with everybody. I'm cool with John Ross. John Ross is gang. Why not? Fuck with <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying in general. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I only rock with my niggas. I like you though. You're like me and you. When we start kicking out, we're like real, real ignorant. We just got along real good right away. Started yeah. talking about stealing and robbing and stuff. We're talking about shoplifting <laughs> together. Getting like, oh hell yeah, that shit's tight. Yeah, real <laughs> shit. I fuck with my dog. <laughs> Whenever I look at the people who I actually like really get along with, that I meet through doing interviews and stuff. It's always like, it's usually not the dude who's like super, super popular. It's like the other dude who's like a real scumbag, and we. Just talk about some like foul shit. <laughs> Real shit. Or it's usually the guys who sell lean too. For some reason, it seems like I usually like just become friends with the lean guy. Oh yeah. Because they live interesting don't lifestyles. Do you don't fuck with the lean. Yeah, no. I don't smoke. Yeah, I don't drink. Boy I don't do do, do, he don't smoke. He Jay. don't sip. He don't drink liquor. Da, da, da. Nah, so I fuck with the liquor. I, I don't drink or yeah, smoke. Dog, Jay, Jay. That's just because yeah, you're Jay. on papers though. Huh? That's just because you you're on probation nah, or some shit. No, 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 no. I just nah. don't do it. Not your style. Nah, I ain't know what I'm saying. Nah. Gotta be on our P's and Q's and that shit. You be you be on that lean, you be on that. I got smoke. Be on that shit. Be lacking. Meanwhile, D Savage over here pouring up dirty ass Fanta's and good, A and W cream sodas good. and such. I love it. <laughs> Did I call it Fanta at Fago? No, 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 that's a Fanta. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, but I think I might have said Fago. No, no, you say Fago. Fuck. Oh, Twigger. <laughs> oh, you know what it is. I really am tweaking. <laughs> All right, what else, what else should we cover before this? I feel like you guys both have very exciting projects on the way that I can't wait oh, to yeah. fucking listen to. Steve Phoenix yeah. is gas. Hey, I don't Money Hungry is gas. I don't want to leave you. Yeah, Black Boys Mixtape is gas. This is fun. Let's keep Fire. going. Let's keep okay. going. Fire. So yeah. you can talk about D Phoenix first. I'll huh? talk about Black Boys. D Phoenix. Phoenix. Where'd that name come from? Yeah, uh, my, my friend that passed away, Jack, mm. his last name is Phoenix. Right. His name is Jack Phoenix. R.P. Jack Phoenix. But yeah. So for me, I, I, I'm calling it D Phoenix. And then... um. It's funny. You're going to see the album cover. It's, it's eyes and eyebrows. And it looks like my eyes and eyebrows because, like, for me, I have bushy eyebrows and crazy eyes or whatever the fuck. But it's Jack's eyes. And we it look exactly the same. You feel me? So that's why I see that for the album cover. That's dope. Y'all going to see. When, yes. Whenever you put it out, hopefully, I probably have, like, a song out when that's the cover. I have I already have a song out and that's the cover. My fans know the eyes. Right, yeah. You know that's what I, mean? what I was thinking. I seen that on the SoundCloud, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, so whenever you drop this, for me, everybody will know now. We got that. We got Everybody the Black Boys Mixtape too. Me. And my Money Hunger. Crazy. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, what else should we talk and about? And Bands. Yeah, Bands, say, man. Bands He's supposed to be say. up in here sometime too. I got to do something with him. That's gas. Yeah, his shit's going crazy. Cole Bennett was just telling me the other day, he's like, yo, Bands, you got this video, it's about to go crazy. Yeah. Bands, oh, I talked to Cole Bennett today. Shout out to Black Boys. That's my dog. We about to shoot a video together. He's a good guy. Yeah, I fuck with him. He's solid. We were in, uh, we were shooting a little WAP video in this Airbnb the other day, and I'm like, bro, I'm like, why you got the nicest Airbnb I've been in like all week, and then you're eating Panda Express? It's like, I don't know, I don't know anything Shout else. Shout out to WAP too. <laughs> yeah, he be on shit like that. He be so funny. We be in the studio, this nigga be like, order me three orders of nachos. <laughs> that nigga's funny as hell. I mean, I be on that Uber Eats shit way too much. Really? You be on Uber it. Eats, bro? Get way up and go much. get some food, bro. Hell no, nah, I ain't leaving the house. Uber I'm sitting there right on the couch. Why, bro? You know, you're not like a like a you're not like a like a somebody just popped you in LA and you don't know what the fuck is around you. You know what's yeah, you good to go. And eat. you got to check. This is why it's good. It's yeah, you got to check. The check is the reason why it's so good. You just, 
You pay this driver ten dollars or five dollars or whatever. Boom, they bring it to you. I don't got to get off the couch. I'm sitting there working. I don't have to get off the couch. They come, they bring it to me. I make them bring it to I there, or get shit. they bring it up here. Nah, nah. They don't what, really what, what I'm a picky ass nigga. What you get, get, ass, nigga. What you get is limited, though, right? Everything they got sushi, fucking every burger place out here, every sandwich place, all the kind of shit. I feel Ew, like, you I said feel like sushi. I'm, I'm too picky. You don't like sushi? Get the fuck out of here. I don't like what sushi. the fuck? You out here representing sake, and you can't fuck with the sushi. What does sake have to do with sushi? Sake is like the alcohol. It's not. It's the alcohol you drink at Korean restaurants yeah. too. But it's to me, it kind of seems like it should all go hand in hand, right? Fuck no, I hate sushi, bro. So I don't the, like sushi either. Now we're currently doing the D Savage anime, or or just the Asian check. You fuck with anime? I'm not gonna diss it or like talk down upon okay. it because I know it's like the, like a lot of people fuck with anime and I don't I don't want to downside no I ain't into that type of shit. I'm not into it either. People yeah. always like ask me about it because all these rappers like me. it, you know. Yeah, they don't nah, ask. These yeah. rappers fake like it, <laughs> but it's a lot of it's it's some rappers oh, yeah. I really do like this, a lot of rappers I watch like ESPN. Like, it. like on, a lot of men to sports, mm-hmm. and then you know what I'm saying. I watch Martin. That's what I like about <laughs> you. You're like a regular guy. I like of. Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I only watch cartoons. Yeah, he, this nigga love, yeah, cartoons. Nigga love cartoons. I don't, I don't watch, watch cartoons. cartoons. I fuck cartoons. Do you watch Rick and Morty? No. All right. You watch you like watch... old cartoons? No. What do you watch? Uh, well, unless you... Like, the only old cartoons I can say like is Tom like and Jerry. The, the really old Tom and Jerry's. Exactly. But it, they got to be the really old ones. I really like the really old it's ones. It's cool having that kind of shit on like in the studio or in your house because it's just... You don't really like pay attention to it fully. It's just kind of entertaining, you know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, Rick exactly. and Morty is the opposite. He, he, you got to pay so much attention to understand what's going on. I'd be watching ESPN, he wouldn't even watch cartoon. We'd be in the telly, but we'd be <laughs> arguing over that. Real just, shit. I like I waking watch... up and watching the real world of Gumball. What is that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but if, but you don't fuck yeah, with sports see, at all. You see, you see, huh? you, you don't fuck with sports at all. No, bro. no, he tripping. Unless it's like the Super Bowl time or <laughs> whatever the case may be. But no, I like no. watching sports. It's just football. football and basketball. I don't watch sports, but if somebody else is watching it, I can kind of deal with it because I don't find it distracting because I don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> I used you to play know? football, so. Yeah, you look like I used to play football, football so I used to play football, basketball, baseball, soccer. Were you nice? I was I was nice, bro. I'm fine football. I was nice. <laughs> I'm, the best, I'm the best I football rapper. I'm the best rapper that plays football. Like, like, that. I'm football the best. was okay. He was probably fired. No rapper is better than me in football. He was telling me all about football and how he's like, I, I played so good, and the coaches be trying to make me practice. And I'm like, nah, I don't need to practice. I'm already good. Yeah, he flexing. <laughs> yeah, he flexing. Me, me and my cousin played for the same team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he flexing for that. Same high school. He flexing. But like, I be on that shit. I don't like practice. I feel like practice is pointless. I'm from the ball regardless, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was balling, but hey, coach wasn't having that shit. Yeah. That's what it got. When you were telling me that, I was just picturing what it would be like to be a football coach, and like trying to convince somebody they have to practice. And they're like, nah. But you know what's crazy? I would score every game. <laughs> Really? You said what? Touchdown! I'm scoring every. That's game. like unheard of, right? You That's score hard. every game. Every game. For real? Not like, not every game. You, 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 real? For? Real? We gotta look you up. We gotta run your receipts real quick. Look we gotta up. look you up look in this town if, paper. If you ever do a football like, <laughs> rap football shit, I, I better be the first drafted. What? And I'm gonna dominate. Remember that dog peed on the table? Yeah. What? That nigga had to go. <laughs> my dog Diesel cra- in here tripping. That was the craziest was shit ever. Fucking yeah, I gotta dog, be ready dude. for my dog J. Hey, too. Matter of fact, bring Diesel in here. Bring he Diesel. He gonna, so he gonna, he no, might have to pee no, again. No, get him back no, up here. No, for that nigga pee on somebody. <laughs> you know what we ain't talked about at all this whole time? Man. These hoes. Hey, let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Let's go. Hey, you trying to get, get, get niggas caught up on here, Adam? What's up with these hoes? What's up? What's up with you? Where they at? I don't know, man. I got a girlfriend. These hoes be trying to pull up to my telly. Where they at? These hoes be trying to pull You got them? You want to send them over to my Instagram? Tell them DM me, Adam. Man, I'm surprised. I'm sure you don't have a problem with that. I'm sure he don't have a problem getting DMs. He's getting there right now. Ooh. My plug that people always think I got mad hoes. People think I got mad hoes just because I can assemble porn stars. Like, like literally, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. If, if, if there was a party Saturday stars? and somebody was like, "Yo, like you know, like can you stars. give me a bunch of porn stars?" Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, "How much? Uh, How much? Oh, you be doing nah, it off the strength because they're homies with my girl and me." So I, you know, I gotta be respectful. So, you talking so about can like, you have like, like the big porn stars? Right like, like the big porn stars. Maybe star I don't know. I've been trying to gift too. girls to like rappers and stuff. Like the other day, I was supposed to go to the studio with an unknown rapper that I'm not gonna say, and I was trying to bring this <laughs> one porn star that I uh-huh. fucked. And I was just like, because she was cool and she had been t- telling me about some other rapper she fucked. So I was just thinking, like, she probably want to fuck this dude. So I was gonna bring her through to him, but then like last minute, everything got fucked up. So I'm trying. You know, I thought that would have been really nice for me uh, to do that. Would, but. That would have been, <gasps> you, you really fucked <laughs> for that. Huh? I know, right? Because I had already smashed. So I didn't give a fuck what happened to her after that. <laughs> it's funny too because it was with my girl that that I fucked her in the first place. And my girl's like, "Why are you gonna go turn her over to this rapper?" I'm like, "We already fucked her. It's all good." 
Oh, you be fucking hoes with your bitch? He said, we? Oh, my. Hey. Uh, hey. I got a partner. Hey. I got a ducky. team. <laughs> hey. You know what's you funny, though? It. Is it pisses off, like, all of, like, like I'll have friends that have girlfriends, and they'll be, like, friends with us, and I can kind of tell that, like, low-key, like, the they girls and the guys are, like, like, they're annoyed because it's like, why the fuck are you allowed to be running around doing all this crazy shit, and my girl won't let me do shit? But that's really, real, real the, the only thing that's good about it is, I, I mean, obviously I'd be doing it either way. I just don't got to lie about it. Yeah. We're running around, going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are we talking about? Hey, Travis, and I, no comment. None. None. Shout no, out, no, shout no. out Kaylee the house. You're a married man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Kaylee you married? Nah. Oh. I'm saying about him. He seems like you're talking about like a married man. Oh, this nigga. <laughs> that's a, you're looking at a dad right there. He got a baby on the way. Man, you ain't got no Air Force Ones on either. You got I fucking, got Gucci slides. Yeah, you got the Gucci <laughs> flip flops on. Ready to fuck your bitch. But you know what I'm saying? I'm a forces nigga. I'm just joking, Kaylee. Don't be bad. Last time you seen me, <laughs> what, what was I wearing? <laughs> forces. Forces. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the hotel, we got. Forces. forces, I got forces. Right got a now. whole wall, like ten pairs boxed that's, up. That's, I don't know. I love forces. Yo, can I ask you a question? What happened to your ear? Like right there. Yeah, I got like a little infection. Oh really? Yeah. No, I, like I, used, I would play. I would play football, and I would like. I would wear earrings to my football games oh, in high school. Damn man, you deserve to get like, kicked off the be, team. I want to be like Terrell Owens. Mm. Like he's Terrell so, Owens <laughs> don't take off his earrings. Nah, nah. Man, he would wear them. Oh, he, he think he <laughs> real down. So, but I would be snapping. Real down. I thought it was gonna be a fucked up story because Bro, I thought you got it shot off or something because nah. it kind of looks like a bullet just grazed <laughs> that thing. <laughs> Nah. All right. Nah. Nah. No. No. No straps. What about you? You never been shot. You been shot before? Hell no. I think about it all the time. You ever been shot at? Nah. Yeah, niggas been shot at. I ain't hit. I've been like around people shooting. It fucking made me like, man, maybe I should just never leave the house again. <laughs> In Palm Beach. <laughs> Get down. Not at like the hotel that my parents stay at. You ain't never been. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, nah, because, all right, so West Palm Beach, he's from Palm Beach. West Palm Beach is where my parents, like, when they go on vacation, we got relatives right over there. So, they at Palm Beach for vacation? West nah, Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it's right on the beach. West, it's just a little, okay, like, you know, okay, it's okay, nice okay, little okay, shit okay, on the beach. Okay. But but when I was, like, driving around there, I'm seeing all these signs, and I'm realizing, like, oh, shit, this is shit Kodak always talking about, like, a lot of these street numbers and shit like that. And that was actually not, like, there, there, but, you know, in that area. And then right. that was the first time I ever met Lil Pump was I went to a show out there. Lil Pomp, Young Simi, um, Wi-Fi's Funeral. <laughs> That's how I'm on. That's, there you go. West Palm Beach. Yeah, West Palm. Niggas don't do shows. In, uh, That's what I'm telling my hey, girl. you never hear a show in Late Worth, Dale mm. Ray, Boyan. You know what I'm saying? Two Trap. Late Park, all that. Yeah, ain't no shows happening. Though. Well, if it's happening... You better head out. Right. That's what I was telling my girl though. I'm like, when we go out there this year for vacation, because I'm bringing her this time to hang out with the family for the first time. I'm like, I'm gonna show you some good shit because we're gonna be going hanging with Trap. Oh yeah. I don't know who else out there oh, in yo, Florida. Right, I got you. Cause said it, what? Tell, tell tell Trap. I said what's up. Tell Adam. I said what's up. What's happening? What happened? That's uh, sixteen. Oh, what up, bro? So, you gonna come through soon or what? What happening? Hey. When we doing your interview? He said when we doing the interview. I'll be there next week. Fuck right. with me, Adam. I got you, bro. I was just talking to your label about you. All right, man. Let's get to it. Let's get to Coming it. I got you. Talking. Hey, what's going to happen when you turn 17? Hey, we perked up. What do you say? What's going to happen when you, you turn, turn 17? 17? Shit, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ugly fuck. Get the fuck off my phone. Ugly ass right, nigga. Buckethead ass. ass. Yo, wouldn't it be fire if he was still 16-year-old when he's like 25? Real. Actually, it's Shit. gonna get creepy at some point. It's gonna be like, why are you calling I, I yourself that? When I first met him, I thought he was sixteen. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought he was too. Here I am. Yeah, I thought he was sixteen. Oh, he ain't anymore. Huh? He you ain't thought, sixteen you really thought anymore. He was 16? I swear to God, I never seen him. So I, I was just assuming he, he started producing this year. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, it works, I guess. If my name was sixteen-year-old, people would be like, "Oh, why are you calling yourself that? Are you creeping on girls?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what people was gonna think about him when he at some point is your age. Cause he's still gonna be going by sixteen. He might just Shit, change. He's it. probably gonna live by his artist name, sixteen. He should, cause it's like very eye catching. Like even yeah. if he was twenty five and he was still called yeah, sixteen, still year old, it's, like, it's still five, funny. Sure. That'll right. be gas. That's cool. All right, anything else we should cover before we uh, wrap this up? Uh, I had a great time fuck hanging Trump. out. Trump. Yeah, fuck yeah, Trump. Fuck Trump. Um, if you're not bag. pouring at least a deuce, you're not pouring. Um, Secure that bag And one of these And one of these Make sure you 
Make sure you cop D-Phoenix. Buy some dope sure off Young Wage. Yeah. Cop D-Phoenix. Make sure you cop the Block Boys And then cop these ugly motherfuckers mixtapes. Cop the Block Boy tapes. I look good. Shout out to all my fans that be fucking with me. I love y'all niggas, bro. For real, for real. Block Boy World. Block Boy World. Block Boy. Shout out to all the real niggas. D-Phoenix shit. Psyche World shit. R.P. Jack shit. Shout out Nick Phoenix. You already know what the fuck it is. Yeah, hey, dropping soon. Shout out to Palm Beach. Everybody in that bitch. Let's Too get much names. If I start Shout naming, I'll be naming for like the next 20 minutes. So Thank you for fucking with me, bro. <laughs> but shout out to everybody. Yeah, but you're going to be out. like, Shaniqua, Karen. Shout out to my dogs in Orlando. Oh, nah. yeah, shout out to my shout mama. Out. I be hey, with my shout dogs. Out, my niggas. Out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Five, six, All ace. That. Man, I'm just glad we got this out of the way. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, thank you very much to everybody who watched this shit. D Savage, Adam. Grown Boy Trap, we ah, out here. No jumper, coolest yeah. podcast of the Young, world. Young Weez, yeah. YouTube, SoundCloud, Jay. iTunes. Say hey, Grown Boy <laughs> Trap, D Savage. Uh, <laughs> Holla at me, boy. Yeah, D Savage yeah. look like Chris Brown. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>